Streaming now on the Jesus Girl Podcast. So there's a such thing called constructive criticism. Constructive criticism pres- provides a solution. Constructive criticism always provides a solution. Effervescent. P-F-F-E-R-V-E. S-E-N-T. Effervescent. Come on, come on. You know this word. That dog's distracting me. You're going to have much bigger distractions when you get to the National Bee in D.C. Now, what is that you're doing with your hand, huh? What? With your hand, your hand. You, 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 you tap like that. What is that? I don't know. Confused with being naturally obnoxious here. Let me see you jump rope. Just jump? Yes, just jump. Yes, there is. Keep going. I said keep going. Concentrate. Stay focused. Spell effervescent. Don't think about anything else. Come on. Now, based upon this clip, would you say that he's being constructive or destructive? Destructive. That is incorrect. What her trainer is doing here is extremely constructive. He saw that she needed help with spelling. And then when he realized that she tapped to keep time, he found a solution by way of using the jump rope. Constructive criticism always provides a solution. They laugh because you intimidate them. But if you'd stood your ground, you might have earned their respect. Dream big.